And today we're brewing coffee with the Baletti Mocha Pot Express. The Baletti Express is an all aluminium stovetop espresso maker, or you may refer to it as a stovetop percolator. It's the ideal coffee brewer to make good, strong coffee that's convenient and more forgiving than espresso brewing. They're compatible with gas and electric stovetops and work really well with camp style cookers too. They come in a various of sizes from one cup all the way up to 18 cups. Today, I'm brewing with the most common six cup model. So let's get brewing using the Valetti Mocha Pot Express. What I'll do first is weigh out and grind my beans. I'm using the Well Home Grinder and what I'll usually do to get the right amount of coffee is simply use the filter basket of the Baletti to achieve the right amount of beans. You'll never get it wrong this way, but in weighing your coffee out, the basket holds approximately 40 grams. Now you wanna grind your coffee to a fine grind, nothing too coarse, but not as fine as espresso either. And this time we're taking a look at the new Wakako Pipa Mocha. Thanks for watching 9to5Toys. Enter the Pipa Mocha, which is a vacuum brewer. And because it is an all-in-one system, you have everything needed within this container, besides the coffee and hot water, of course. And since this is primarily made to be on the go as a travel kind of utensil, it does come with a soft case, uh, much like the Nanopresso, but they do also offer a hard shell case you can pick up for another $20. And it matches the color scheme and, you know, looks really nice and is a good protective case. The Pipa Mocha itself comes in at $47, so not too bad for an all-in-one coffee brewer. And you won't need any additional filters or anything like that. Everything you need except for coffee and water is included in this. So opening it up here, we'll show you all the contents. You uh, take off the lid, which you can use if, with the mug after you already brew the coffee. You have a scoop which you can use for getting the right amount of coffee. You have a brush, which is real useful for cleaning the filter basket. You have a funnel for helping you to load the filter basket with coffee without getting too much or being too messy and spilling over. So in today's video, I'm excited to share with you this all new portable pour over coffee maker from Wakako, which they call the Kappa Mocha. To start things off, inside the box, you'll get the mug itself, the lid, 10 cone paper filters, a scoop, a collection pad, as well as the filter holder. The brewing process is quite simple. To get started, you need to screw the filter holder onto the mug, take out a paper filter and fold the seams like so, then flatten the crease so it properly sits inside the filter holder. Once that's done, you'll need to clean the paper filter by pouring hot water up to the halfway line, then unscrew the filter holder and remove the water from the mug. You can then put the filter holder back onto the mug and add 2.5 scoops of medium ground coffee, which is about 20 grams. This brings us to the actual brewing step, which is split in three steps and shouldn't take more than three minutes. Before starting, lightly shake and tap the mug to level the coffee. And in step one, you'll want to pour about 40 milliliters of hot water in a circular pattern from outside to the center. For optimal results, the water temperature should be between 85 to 92 degrees Celsius, which is in the range of 100. Now, as always, if you've enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up. It greatly supports the channel. Subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next Friday. Until then, out. This is the Eureka Camp Cafe. It's the absolute dream for coffee-loving car campers looking to take the comforts of their home brewing setup on the road. Thanks to the large capacity of the system, you'll be the life of the campground. Let's take a look at the details. The Camp Cafe includes all the components you need for a hot cup of coffee in the great outdoors. Just add coffee and your stove. This kit includes a 2.5 liter kettle for boiling your water. The kettle is made from durable, hard anodized aluminum and features a food grade polypropylene lid. The silicone coated handles allow for easy usage when the kettle is hot. The bottom of the kettle features patented flux ring technology to create a more efficient heat exchange between the vessel and your stove. Also included in the Camp Cafe system is a serving carafe that accommodates 12 cups of coffee. The carafe has a siliconized bottom which protects surfaces from the hot contents inside. Additional accessories include a filter holder for pour over coffee and a small scoop. The filter holder accommodates standard number four filters. To use, simply boil the appropriate amount of water in your kettle, put a filter and ground coffee in the filter holder and place it over the carafe. Then pour your hot water over the coffee and while You've got hot, delicious coffee for you and your fellow campers. This simple-to-use, well-built system is designed for car camping when weight isn't so much of a concern. Eureka can... You don't want to be without your coffee on a lightweight adventure? Well, the Wakako 
Mini Press. So GR is for you. GR stands for ground coffee. It is a nifty little espresso machine for your lightweight adventures or for car camping, anything like that. It is around about 360 grams, measuring about 17 and a half centimetres tall. We've got seven centimetres deep here, taking into consideration your, your piston section and about six centimetres wide. In your box, you'll get your um, espresso machine. You get a little storage bag, your instruction booklet and a couple of stickers. The it has got a couple of components to it. The first one being your hot water receptacle down the end here. We've got a little coffee scoop and a cleaning brush kept in there for storage. Your coffee receptacle or your water receptacle I should say holds about 70 mils. You've got the body of the machine with that piston in place and you've got your espresso cup which is around about 45 mil cup and the actual coffee filter head here which is your little coffee basket now the entire unit itself is made from bpa plastic and your little filter components here are stainless steel i've had some water boiling here for a while now and i've got some ground coffee pre-prepared and it sounds like my pot of water is finished boiling so i'm going to take you through how to make yourself a cup of coffee now there are a couple of components here so we'll sort of just move them all out the way All right, today we're going to take a look at another way to make coffee in the outdoors, the Maijo Single Cup Coffee Maker. Um, so basically, all to assemble it, you're going to take this piece here and just stick it in there. It'll hold. You know, it's not in there too strong. The nice part is, is when you push down and you get a little resistance, you can lift that up and the air will come in through that hole in the middle. Next, you got the bottom and the container here with water. This is where you put your hot water. This bottom piece is where you're going to drop in your K-cup, and it will pierce it. So a word of caution, down here is a very sharp piece of metal. I doubt you can see it in there. But it's a sharp tube with an edge. It will pierce through that. So you want to fill this up once you get that in there. And we'll just use this guy for now as an example. Um, you're going to screw this on, and you will have to push down on it and pierce it. You're going to fill this up with water. Put this lid on and just pump. And like you see, I said, once you take that off, it lets the air back in. And you just pump. And you'll have this over a cup or a container. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great week. And um, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>